Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content so far. Finally doing the Florida trip you asked for. We're actually going to Mississippi and then Florida. We got two drops on this one. So the going to be a two-part video. First part is going to be getting down to Mississippi. Second part is going to be getting down, doing a drop off in Florida, and then going home. Hopefully going to have my brother detailing my truck. He's going to buff it, get all the swirls out, get it looking good. So here we go. Come on. Buddy, come on. Oh yeah, we gotta go get a truck washed on the way. I was gonna do it yesterday here at the yard, but it started raining and everything and I was tired and I was just having a lazy day. I watch movies all day, so. So, when you're sliding your tandems back, you set your trailer brakes so they're locked up, you pull your pins, and you just, sometimes you gotta pull forward or go back a little bit to get the pins to drop out. There we go. And now, I wanna put them back a little bit because I don't like riding with them all the way forward if I don't have to. So we're gonna go right there. You press your trailer brakes in. Let everything relax, let the air go through, reset them, and that'll pop the pins back out on the trailer. So then you just give it a little pull forward. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Go back. And now, what you want to do is go back there and check to make sure all your pins are in. I got my handy dandy little keychain light here. Yeah, buddy. Pens in. Pens in. Oh, she's so dirty. We're definitely going to get her washed today. Pens in, pens in. We're ready to go. Let's hit the road.
boat hit the radar, we're gonna miss the rain on the way down. The belt's already passing us. So by the time we get washed up, go get fuel, I take a shower and get uh, a fax that I need to get. The rain will be completely gone and the truck will be nice and clean and perfect. Beacon. All right. All right. So this is the Effingham Chrome Shop and Blue Beacon. I use them quite a bit. They're really good. They normally get pretty much everything. Still gotta wipe it down and all that. I'm gonna have them do the tire shine this time. I just bought some and I got other things I need to do. So I'm just gonna wipe the truck down real quick once they get done. Once they get done. And then I gotta go get a shower and then we're gonna roll on down to Mississippi. And as you guys just seen, Illinois is pretty boring. I hate coming down through Illinois. It's just so blah. But all right, let's go make sure they get the truck clean. skills is working out sun's breaking through over there clouds are running that way I think I'm all done something cool here
tonight. I can polish the reefer out because it needs it. That's a reaper like ass. Look at that, it's disgusting. Well, my leg's done now. Look at that, look how fogged up that is. I'm gonna have to do it tonight. Hopefully I get stopped at a decent time. Oh, we'll try and polish this back out. Yeah, it's horrible. That's disgusting. That's unacceptable. So now let's see if we can roll over here real easy like, so we don't blow anything out of the stacks. And get the truck all nasty. Oh, they're giving it some work out there. All right, so I got new polish right here says it's for the lazy man and as much as I look like a workaholic I like being lazy myself all right what we got going on here look at this man holy cow I call that cream sickle if I had it oh Oriental guy hell yeah we got trucks all over here today Nice ones at least. Oh, come on. And I got the rain X stuff on the truck. So normally, if you can get through one sprinkle, but if you're in like a heavy rain and if you're kicking a lot of stuff off, off the ground, that just ruins it. But if it's just like a light sprinkle and the roads don't get too wet, normally be okay. Sometimes it even makes you look better. It's kind of weird. this there's a pothole right here 
but if you get it just right, you can swing around it out, just like that. Haha, <laughs> buddy, come on. gonna get fuel I'm gonna go show you guys the showers and we got to get back on the road we gotta get some time down we got five hours and six minutes left of our drive time as you can see right there so on duty fuel all right let's see what we got left in our clock today so we got seven hours and eight minutes left on our shift five hours and six minutes left to drive time and we've got 63 hours left of our 70 which doesn't matter because I'm going look at the Oh, the gold boy, look at him. Look at him, we're sitting there. Come on. All right, let's get fuel. All right, so awesome sauce. I'm in a hurry now because it took a little bit too much time getting the truck washed. I just got fuel. I'm getting something faxed over to me from the office right now, and they're going to make me a fish dinner that I've been craving for I couldn't tell you how long. So I'm going to get this done, show you guys showers, grab the bills, and we're rolling. Okay, so normally you go to this machine, type your phone number in or select your loyalty card, and then you get a receipt, and it tells you on the screen which shower you go to. I am number three. I'm driver 123, and I got shower three. Let's go. So, I only go to TAs and Petros for showers because they have the best ones. This is like the tiniest one that I go to. You got your sink, you got a hair dryer, you got towels that everyone else uses that I don't use. And unless I'm in a hurry, like just now, and forgot my towel and rag in the truck. You got your own toilet and a shower. It's got enough pressure to blow the skin off your back, and it's hotter than anything you'll ever find. So, kind of like truck stop showers more than my own. So, let's do this. Huh? Damn it. It's still ugly. All right, we gotta go. Field of plastic trucks. There we lie. Look at her. Looking all good and whatnot. I see my back. good here I got me a fish dinner picked the truck up a little bit because I got it a little bit messy and I'm going to show you guys here on the weather app what I was looking at and why we got the truck washed so here's all the rain that I was avoiding I came down from here so now all the rain's gone there's nothing else coming out and we're heading just south of here so we are golden we got a clean run the trucks looking good it's gonna be shining bright here soon we'll be fed up I didn't get anything to drink. God! Alright, let's get going.
That's right, not only going to get the truck washed. I know the boys that work there and they do a dang good job. I tell you what. Fabulous job. And they're reasonably be priced. But I didn't think I was coming by here. I don't know. I, I wasn't thinking. But the truck's looking good, so we all right. Look at this thing. Which one do you are going to? Oh, it doesn't matter. That's what she said. Uh, yeah, it'd be on the right side of the road, probably it'd be on the left. windows and my mirrors were aggravating the heck out of me. So I had to stop and clean them real quick.
path. Held me out. Had to find somewhere to park. About running out of time here. On the app it says it's got many spots available, but it wasn't ever I pulled over back there and checked it out. no safe place that I like to park. They're either dirt lots or something like that or it's a business or something and you're not really supposed to park there. So we're gonna go to this Love's and shut her down for the night. We're gonna have to get going about five in the morning so we can make it to our appointment on time. But ain't nothing but a thing. And then from there, I'll end this video and we'll go to the next one. This looks like it's small too, so I hope we get a spot when it's good because I can't really park in just any spot. I can't park in the lines. Until I'm too long, I'll stick out. Mm, looks like someone's fell in there a time or two. guys try, normally try to park next to each other. So he's going to go park next to the house. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think we're going to get to park back there where I wanted to, because that's where I wanted to park. Well, maybe, unless he takes up both. Oversized. Does it look like I'll be able to get there next to you? Yeah, we'll be able to. We're going to do that.
Okay, so we're parked now. Just got done. The truck is a disaster. I gotta tighten that up. I'm gonna do that when I get back in there. But for right now, I want to see how this new polish is gonna work. So let's go check it out on the tank. Let me put this on. This cloth here, I'll use that for the application, this for the taking off. It says use it sparingly, so. Definitely gonna sit here and do this. All right. Well, you guys see what I'm gonna be doing here for a while. I'm gonna put the GoPro on charge and start working on this. And see how much I can get done. Might do the wheels, I don't know yet. But I'll catch you in a little bit. We got some orange juice. We're ready to roll. Yeah, I'm so glad to have my fairway back. Oh, I missed her so much. Let's go for the most beautiful sound every morning.
I found this loves here. So I'm gonna stop in. You gotta hit the restroom. I might get a bite to eat. I don't know yet. Can't get no more perfect than that right there. And so my rear underglow light back there on the back of the trailer, once I see that go over the curb, I know I'm just about to touch my tandems and I never put my mud flops against the curb so they don't get scratched up or bent up, look like crap, you know? you guys like the video this is part one of the florida trip normally i go a different way so i'll get to do this video again for you but this time we was going to mississippi so i figured it'd be a good opportunity to do this so we can get you know two videos out of the same trip basically but not so catch you next week <laughs>